I mean, pretty amazing the way it works. It's just it's awesome. You can you can do tons on this. You can even listen to music if you want to. By the way, let me just open up the music. The audio will be coming from the TV. <laughs> Yeah, the audio will be coming from the TV, yeah. But you, you have tons. You can watch videos, you can play games if you want to. You can even use your camera. So let me just take a photo of a Doraemon that is on top of the TV. Which is kind of weird, actually. But yeah, you can actually zoom in and see. It's pretty amazing the way it works. It's awesome. Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Ruz, and welcome to another awesome video. In today's video, I'll teach you how you can screen mirror any Samsung phone to your Android or Chromecast TV. Completely free and you don't have to download any third-party apps on your Samsung phone or you need to you don't need to download anything on your TV. It's completely free, everything is just built into it. As you just saw, it's pretty smooth, it's lag-free, it's lag-free and it's just it's smooth, it's, it just works. So, I'm really excited about this video. So, let's just let's just dive right into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do on your Samsung phone is to make sure your phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. Really simple, nothing fancy at all. So the first thing you wanna do is go into the settings tab. Let me just click on it if, oh boy. <laughs> okay, wait, there you go. So first thing first, go into the settings, go to the connections and go to your Wi-Fi settings and make sure your phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. You can use a mobile hotspot in the hotspot in the hotspot in the hotspot settings but i would not recommend this because it might cost you credit and just it's just not it's not free it might cost you credit it might cost you data plan so just be careful with it use your home wi-fi it's free it's homey and you don't have to worry about data plans or anything like that so once your phone is connected to your home wi-fi and that is pretty much all you have to do now we have to make sure your android tv is also connected to the exact same wi-fi connection so let's do that Okay, so the first thing you want to do, okay, I just opened Netflix by the way, sorry about that. Go to your home. Okay, go home, go to top, the settings on the Android TV are in the corner right there. So just go to the settings. And there you go, it's in the corner. Click on the network settings. Once you're into the network settings, just make sure your TV and your Samsung phone are in exact same Wi-Fi connection. So in this case, both are. In this case, both my TV and my Samsung phone are on exact same Wi-Fi connection. And that is pretty much it. You don't have to do anything else. You just sit on the home screen and that is pretty much it. So once your Android TV and your Samsung phone are both on the exact same connection, now you, what you want to do is go to your settings page. Now inside the settings, you will find a tab called connected devices. Really simple. Go to your connected devices and scroll just a tiny bit until you see a setting called smart view right there. Once you click on smart view, it should be enabled it should enable all the TVs in the in the background. So as you can see, there is my Android TV. By the way, just a pro tip, just a pro tip. If you don't see your Android TV, try the following. Onto your, onto your TV, go to your settings tab, go all the way down to devices, device preferences, and scroll all the way down until you see something called Chromecast built-in. Open that up just once and click OK, and just click on Always, and that's pretty much it. So if it doesn't work, do that okay so what you want to do is just click on your android tv just click on it as you can see it's asking to start now as you can see it's asking for permission it's asking for permission on my tv just click approve and uh, waiting for connection there there you go we are connected i mean pretty amazing the way it works it's just it's awesome you can you can do tons on this you can even listen to music if you want to by the way let me just open up the music the audio will be coming from the tv the audio is closed, hold on. Yeah, the audio will be coming from the TV, yeah. But you, you have tons, you can watch videos, you can play games if you want to, you can even use your camera. So let me just take a photo of a Doraemon that is on top of the TV, which is kind of weird actually, but yeah, you can actually zoom in and see. It's pretty amazing the way it works. It's awesome. Well, that's pretty much it for the video. The way you stop this is really simple. If you look on your Samsung phone, you have a floating smart view window or widget or something. You can click on it and you can click disconnect or you could you don't want to do that. Just go into the settings tab. You go into the settings. Go to your connection devices. Go scroll all the way down until you see smart view. Just tap on your Android TV and there you go. It's disconnected. Pretty awesome. Well, that's it for the video, Omriz. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.
Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. By the way, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely help you out. By the way, again, if you really like the video, be sure to subscribe. That's gonna help. That's gonna help me a lot, a lot. So, really appreciate you watching the video. I'm Rose, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.